There we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something that was painful to watch, to happen, watch that happened that was hap that was painful to watch. And I will talk about that here in a minute. But remember, if you want to see more of these, leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell. Add me on Snapchat at Wacko73. Follow me on Twitter. Hit up all of my socials in my bio. So let's get into this. So what we are talking about today is we are talking about the Pittsburgh Penguins. Their seven-game losing streak. My goodness gracious, was it painful and indespicable. I don't know if I'm using that word right, but forget it. To what? So they're for they're, they're they started out the year one two two oh and one four oh and one right yes and then they just fell off with a loss to Edmonton on my birthday a loss to Calgary the day after a loss to Vancouver five to, they had a six three loss a four one loss. 5-1 loss, a 3-1 loss, and then it continues into the month of November of a 6-5 overtime loss in which they had a 3, 3, some, a yeah, 5-2 lead, and they lost, and they blew that, and they lost. Um, a 6-3 loss and a 3-2 loss last Saturday against the Kraken. And they, have, they, on their road, they were on a five-team road trip. It was Columbus, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, and Seattle. Five-game road trip. In which, on that road trip, they went one and four. I was like, what the heck? One, four, and oh. I was like, what the heck? This Pittsburgh team, they started out the year very, very hot. And then they just crumbled to pieces and just... <laughs> and just... Suck. I was like, what the heck? Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. But thankfully, on Wednesday, not yesterday, day before, they ended, they finally ended their seven-game losing streak against the Washington Capitals, 4-1, to one, and Jake Getzel was back, Carter was back, everyone played, Crosby played good, Malkin played good, Latang played good, Getzel was good, Carter uh, the Smith started who, shockingly enough, and he was just, like, he was just, he didn't, he only gave up one goal in, like, 25 saves. It was, he was good. It was like, where was this Pittsburgh team, like, the last on the losing streak? What the heck? But you know what? They finally were able, I think they were all, like, tired and sore and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this only because I haven't filmed in, like, two weeks and uploaded in two weeks. So, tonight we play the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm going to talk about the month of this month, the rest of this month. They play the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight in Toronto. Then they head to Montreal tomorrow. Then they're off. Then they host Toronto. Then they play in, Winnip or in Montreal, or not Montreal, Minnesota, Winnipeg, Chicago. Then they have another three road trip. And then they're home against the Flames, and they're off for Thanksgiving. And they play the Flyers, and then they host the Maple Leafs, and then Carolina. And then, by the way, that game against the Flyers is a Thanksgiving showdown. I'm very excited for that game. I'm probably going to watch that game. I hope the Flyers are bad this year. Because right now, the Penguins are to close to the bottom of their division. Which sucks. And then they play Vegas. And then... Yeah, so they're... Right now, currently... They are... Where can I see their... Schedule team... I can't see the... Uh, Dive on... What their record is currently, can I? Hold up. Hmm? Nice. Um, they are currently six, five, six, and two. I mean, it's still early, but, and I'm not too, too upset, but that losing streak, I feel like, just kind of like, hopefully, I'm hoping it doesn't happen again, because it was just so painful. They had all these leads. They had a two-one lead that they blew in Edmonton. 
They had a six. No, they had a five-two lead against Boston, and they blew that. They had a five-two lead against Boston. They blew that. They had all a. They had a one-nothing lead over the Kraken, and they challenged two plays that were two goals, and they blew that. They had so many leads blown. They had a 3-1 lead in, in Buffalo, and they blew that. I was like, they need to stop. That's what they need to do. They need to stop blowing leads. First of all, Carter was back, so I hope Carter can, hopefully Carter and Bluter, Bluter is still, Bluter is still one out. Hopefully he can be back and just play. Hopefully he's back tonight or tomorrow. I really want to see Bluter make a season debut. He has yet to make a season debut. He's the only guy to make a season debut. But first, they called up Mark Friedman today, which I'm super excited about. Because I love Mark Friedman. And so, I'm just sitting over like this because I was looking at my laptop because I didn't know what else to look at. So, yeah, anyway, I'm just super excited that they called up Mark Friedman. Um, hopefully he can just... And then we have Kapanen, we have Heinen, we have Jan Ruda, we have... Oh, what's the other guy's name? Jan Ruda, we have um, Jeff Petrie, there you go. We have many, many other guys that... Oh, I forgot to mention in that overtime loss in Montreal the last time we were there. We had a 2-1 to one lead, and we blew that. Or a 2 nothing lead, we blew it. I was like, what the heck? It was just a bad game. We were 4-0-1 at that point. Or 2-0-1, I'm sorry. But hopefully we can get back on track tonight, get into the win call, and get another win, get back, get on like a... We need to a, we need a string some wins together. That is what I'm saying. We need to string some wins together. It just sucks that, like, that seven-game losing streak. But, by the way, we're also at, like, the bottom of the division. I was like, what the heck? I hope this team can string enough wins together by the end of the year that we're in the playoffs and we don't miss the playoffs for the first time since, like, we've made the playoffs every single year except the first year that we made all the playoffs since we haven't made, we have not, Missed the playoffs since 2004. 2003, 2000, maybe 2004. We haven't missed the playoffs. But you know what? We're still, we've been in the playoffs for six, 16 or 17 straight years. I don't remember what our, our, uh, what that number is off the top of my head. I, it will, I think it's 17, maybe 16. I think it is six. I don't know. Anyway, but in those whatever number playoffs that we've made every all that that number of years that we've made the playoffs, two, four of them have resulted in a Stanley Cup. 2009, 2016, 2017, and hoping we can get back to the Cup in 2023 and win the Stanley Cup. That would be super duper nice to win the Stanley Cup in 2023. I don't know, but anyway, um, remember if you guys want to see more of me talking about my favorite team, the Pittsburgh Penguins, but I'm wearing a national shirt because, you know, it's it's um, just my pajama shirt. That's okay. Remember if you guys want to see more of this, leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell, add me on Snapchat at Wacko873, follow me on Twitter, hit up all of my socials in my bio, and I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Peace.